What is up guys, it is me again and I'm going to show you the sneakers I actually picked up that were not in my thrifted video. Um, if you haven't checked out my thrifting video, please check it out, I just uploaded it. So um, hope you guys enjoyed that and I'm going to show you the shoes that I picked up. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go ahead and get the ones out of the way that are not my size and ones that I'm probably going to be getting rid of. So um, let's just go ahead and uh, jump into that. So if you watched my thrifting video, my last one, then you saw that I actually found these shoes but I did not pick them up. Um, I waited a couple weeks, went back, and they were on sale. They were they dropped the price to $3.99, and then they were 25% off that, so I ended up picking these up for $3, and that is the LeBron 7 in the postseason in the Hornets colorway. A shoe I wish was in my size, but it's not, so I can't really do nothing about it. Um, they're actually pretty clean. There's not really nothing wrong. I mean, the bottoms are pretty dirty. Um, there's a little piece of purple paint missing right here on the swoosh, but um, I had to throw on some laces because they didn't have any. And um, they didn't have a size tag, so I actually had somebody try them on, and um, yeah, I think they're a size 7. So this next pair of sneakers is actually a size one and a half Y. Um, I picked these up for 10 bucks, and I was planning on selling them, but a uh, funny story is my nephew came over and he pretty much claimed them, so I guess they're his. And that is the Air Jordan Bread 11. Um, these are actually in really good shape. They're just a little dirty on the bottom or whatever, but you know kids wear their shoes and they pretty much run them into the ground but yeah 10 bucks I thought why not pick them up um, and even if I wouldn't have sold them I probably would have just kept them just uh, you know like a little display piece or something on my shelf behind me back there but whatever so I'm not really a much of a Vans collector I have like one pair but um, I actually found two pairs for $1.99 so I thought why not so let me show you what they are so the first ones are just your generic everyday simple Vans all white slip-ons um, like I said, $1.99. They're not, they don't look very worn because you can see the logo still in there. But um, all white, just something to slip on whenever um, I'm too lazy to put something else on, I guess. <laughs> but whatever. And these next ones, I'm not really a fan of the model, but I thought the colorway was pretty cool. And that is these bands OV, almost said OVW, um, OTW. Um, I just really like the colorway. It's like an off white suede with your white midsole, gum bottoms. Then you have like the brown leather tongue and then brown wax laces um, I just thought these looked nice and like a nice maybe like dressy casual shoe uh, this next pair I paid uh, $13 for a whopping $12.99 this makes my second Nike SB in my collection third ever owned overall and um, it is the Nike SB border blue from 2006 I believe I'm a big fan of the SBs that have like the different color midsoles like these instead of just your generic everyday white and black midsole. So um, I hopped on these as soon as I seen them. They were my size. And um, yeah, I'm really happy to have them. And I don't know if you guys can tell from the video, but this is actually like a light blue. It's not a gray, which it kind of shows up gray in the video, but it's a light blue. So I really love the, like the colorway of the shoe. And then last but not least, and definitely my favorite by far is the uh, LeBron 3 in the white and gold colorway. And um, I kid you not, Paul Cantu, I mean, if you watch my videos, you have to watch his. Um, he picked these up not that long ago, and I actually dropped a comment on his video saying how much I liked them and they were in my size. And um, he offered to sell me these, but I kid you not, the next day after I put that comment, I found these at the thrift store for $8.99. As you can see, it has some pretty nasty heel drag, but nobody looks at the bottom of the shoe. But yeah, man, just a sexy, sexy shoe overall, and I'm really happy to have these. So yeah, guys, that's all the shoes I picked up that were not in the thrift videos, except those LeBron. But if you enjoyed it, please go check out my thrift videos. Go check out my last thrifted sneaker video. And with that being said, peace, guys, and good luck thrifting.